Ken Tizzard, my man, my friend. How are you, bro? I'm fantastic, brother. How you doing? I'm so I'm, we're good, man. I, I apologize for having you in the studio a bit late. We uh, we Wait. were getting this really heated debate, and that had to be solved. On you know, I'm like like any true narcissist, which most radio personalities are. I had to be you proven to be right. right. I had yeah. to be, yeah. and I was. But no, it's only because I knew I was right. There you uh, go. I, I would never. I'm not, I never need to be right if I'm not right. I just you know want to put that out there. <laughs> so tell me, how's life out in the woods there, eh? Life in the woods is all right, boy. You know, it's uh, <laughs> snow's gone now. The pools open up, so uh, everything is happy and as it should be i do believe wow that's so good yeah. man look at you you look like you you look like uh look you look like you a bit actually yeah we got like the <laughs> we do we look like each other i love I it man that. nice and close yeah. to the mic there ken i uh, know sorry uh, no 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 worries so uh man tell, tell us like uh exciting stuff you got a new album no dark no light yeah uh really cool stuff man beautiful tunes uh with the country swagger yeah i guess so yeah is, is that country folk americana roots canadiana whatever you want to call it but yeah, no, I'm real happy with it. I love uh, you, man. You're like you're, you're so Canadian. You're like you're <laughs> such a good guy. Ken and I have known each other for quite some time. Of course, formerly Long a member time, of the Watchmen. I know you guys get together for some shows here yeah. and there. Uh, I've always just connected with you because of how real you are and how uh, empathetic you are as a person and how you stick true to your passion of music. Mm. And uh, what's it like now putting a new album out and going to play some shows here in Toronto? It, it must feel so good that it's all there. It's it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the record's out. Um, it's uh, you know, I, I didn't plan to really do anything with this record because I, I kind of put my foot down with myself and just said I was going to make the record that I wanted. Uh, and surprisingly, I've been caught off guard because uh, it's it's actually getting a lot of attention and um, I, I'm i very pleased with that. So it's good and the tours have been going great. I've been having some nice sold out shows. Um, I'm in Toronto uh, right now with the uh, doing a solo show. I tour with the trio uh, as well when I can, the guys who are on the record. And I've uh, been out to Newfoundland and the East Coast and going back out there again and then out to the prairies later on this summer. So... I'm going to keep busy with it. You know, it's, it's what I've been doing. It's, uh, you know, some people often say to me, it's when you're going back on tour. It's like, I, I've never really been off tour. I, I just play all the time. It's what I do, right? So, I mean, some tours are longer than others, but it's just kind of life on the road, you know, business as usual. Go to KenTizzard.com and on Facebook, it's just Ken Tizzard Music. And on Twitter, it's KTizzard, of course. Ken Tizzard is here uh, with no dark, no light. Uh, man, you know, it's really very genuine and sweet to hear you talk about how just you did it your way this time. Mm. And, and, and you know, the old expression, build it and it will come. You know, you built it. You did it. No one told you. No one had a buzz in your ear. No one was telling you to tweak this, tweak that, make it more commercial, whatever. <laughs> and then that's it's funny, though, when you say I didn't expect much out of it. And generally. I think when people finally give up on what other people think is right and do it on themselves, uh, that's when it's most natural. When things are most natural, really, that's when people kind of, that's when people get attracted to it. I think you're absolutely right, man. I, I, I've heard that from a lot of other artists, too. It's like when they when they finally sort of got out of the, uh, you know, the under the thumb of the A&R guy or the producer or the record company and just kind of said, screw it. I'm, you know, almost kind of giving up, you know. It's just like, oh, I'm just going to do this the way I want to do it. I'm going to stop going for something and and then things can happen, you know. It's it's a neat thing artistically what opens up when you uh, when you take away all the all the crap that people want. And don't get me wrong, certain stars are meant to be manufactured. There's oh, absolutely. Certain, there are certain ones who have a look and have absolutely. you know that perfect you know the Katy Perry's the Justin. They're meant to be kind yeah. of structured a certain way to create an audience, and that and they, will never go away. And they have a hugely valid place in the world as well. I, I, I would I, never take away from that. I mean, I don't, exactly, yeah. exactly. I'm not taking anything. Same, yeah. same exact same thing. And in a very wholehearted way, it's amazing what they do. But when you take and I will, I will, I will change it a little bit. I will say though, if you give it to, if you try and do that to a true artist, like a real true musician, uh, a master of his craft, <laughs> which you are. Oh, thank you. And once you start trying to change that, then it doesn't work. It it does become problematic. You know, <laughs> I, I always use the food analogy. You know, like some of the best chefs in the world cook in little tiny restaurants that house like thirty people. You know, two seatings a night, and that's what they cook, and that's the best food that you're ever going to get. But then again, McDonald's is serving billions. You know, it's just like that's the both of them have a valid place in the world and both of them are needed. But there's there's a difference uh, in, you know, it's just sort of a it's a different type of taste and style. And the two of them really can't mix, you know, uh, that's um, probably the best analogy I've ever heard. <laughs> no, we're we're out of show of analogies, eh, Brody? Yeah, oh, there no, you go. We, we're bad at analogies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need <laughs> We need Ken Tizzard to give us to write us some analogies when we're talking about certain situations. Hey, what's up? I'm Roddy. It's the best idea you've ever had to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Jay, it's feeding time. Hey, guys. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>